What is Tunnel Boring Machine? A tunnel boring machine TBM, commonly described as a mole, is a machine that excavates circular-shaped tunnels through various soil and rock strata. They can pierce hard rock, sand, and practically any other material. To date, tunnel diameters have ranged from a meter done with micro TBMS, to nearly 16 meters. Horizontal steering drilling or trenchless construction are normally recommended to use instead of TBMS for tunnels less than a meter in diameter. Drilling and blasting operations in rock and traditional hand mining in soil are both replaced by tunnel boring machines. The TBMS have the advantage of causing the minimal ground disturbance and providing a smooth edges tunnel wall. This lowers the expense of tunnel lining that makes it appropriate for usage in densely populated urban areas. The initial expenses of using TBM are very high. TBMS are both costly to build and difficult to move. However, as newly tunnels come with longer life and fewer maintenance liabilities, the overall construction cost of tunnels with boring machines decreases. This is due to the fact that tunneling using TBMS is far more efficient and construction duration also reduces significantly. How to operate a tunnel boring machine? Vibrations, heat and subsidence must be minimized in order to eliminate any harm to the structures. With an outside DIA of 12 meters and approx length of 95 meters, the S442 is a traditional up machine. The tunneling machine separates the material from the tunnel phasing with its spinning cutting wheels. The material is subsequently transferred to the conveyor belt with the hydraulic cylinders, continually pressing the machine forward. The lining segments are placed beneath the shield skin for protection. How fast are tunnel boring machines? Each machine functions as a self-contained subterranean factory that, in addition to excavating the tunnel, will line it with concrete wall, segments and cement them into place as it advances, at a rate of about 15 meters per day. Why is a tunnel boring machine so expensive? Fundamentally, excavating a tunnel involves moving a huge amount of mass through a highly limited region, so that large excavation machines are impractical. This is why, if at all possible, cut and cover tunneling is preferred. Also digging through complex geology for which you'll need to give physical support and for which you can only sample slash model impressively beforehand. Initially, the multi-million dollar tunnel boring machines, such as those used to dig the tunnel, are frequently considered as expensive and therefore abandoned, but given that they are essentially designed and built for a specific project, and the amount of time, fast speed of execution, it would take to dismantle, it makes economic sense to use TBMS. Are tunnels safe in earthquakes? It is dependent on the tunnel types. A reinforced concrete tunnel, such as a road drainage tunnel or a railroad tunnel, is quite likely to be safe. A dirt tunnel is unlikely to be as secure. If the material is uncompacted dirt, sand, or even a mound of rocks, an earthquake may dislodge enough material to block the tunnel entrance and slash or exit, making it impossible to get out. Types of Tunnel Boring Machine TBM Main Beam A TBM with a main beam is ideal for breaking up hard rock. The main beam machine, according to the Robbins firm, is the way to go if you want to drill through hard rock in the quickest amount of time feasible. The machine operates by forcing disc cutters into the rock while the cutter head rotates, and the cutter head is the same size as the tunnel diameter. Double Shield TBM Double Shield TBM was developed by the Robbins company way back in 1972 to safely operate tunnel projects passing through ruptured rock, and it was something that's never done earlier. Double Shield TBM comprises of a rotating cutter head, affixed to the cutter head support, and followed up by three shields known as Gripper Shield, Tail Shield, and Telescopic Shield. Single Shield TBM TBMS with a single shield are appropriate for projects that require vast portions of fractured ground to be drilled through. Because fractured earth poses a safety concern to any boring project, it's critical to employ a single shield boring machine, which includes a shield that shields construction operatives from broken rocks until the tunnel lining is placed securely. Earth Pressure Balance Balance or Earth Pressure Balance EP, are made to operate in soft ground conditions. EP comes with an articulated shield and it's work pretty well against entering water pressure. Along with this it monitors and controls the pressure inside the cutter head to achieve balance. What is the main risk of tunnel boring machines? The primary geological concerns that affect the efficiency and safety of a tunnel construction with TBM are soft fractured rock masses, fault fractured zones, water in rush, water bearing structures, collapse, boulder falling, surrounding rock deformation and rock burst. The ground condition where TBM are suitable to use. 
TBMS with a single shield are appropriate for projects that require vast portions of fractured ground to be drilled through. Because fractured earth poses a safety concern to the project. Advantages and disadvantages of TBM. Advantages of TBM. Allows tunneling through soft, damp, or unstable ground at a faster speed and with safety. Suitable for use in areas where water pressure is high. Ground settling is reduced, resulting in a smooth tunnel wall. This reduces the lining cost and makes it economical to deploy in densely populated areas. Disadvantages of TBM. The upfront capital expenditure is the most significant disadvantage. TBMS are costly to build, difficult to move, and require extensive backup systems and electricity. Large stones and rocks can make driving difficult. I hope this video offers you adequate information about tunnel boring machine TBM. Please feel free to like, share and comment about it.